tech has been um, uh, transformational in terms of how it's helped me to you know, solve tough issues. Hi, my name is Jason Flick, CEO, co-founder of UITV, and we have a technology that lets media companies deliver their content everywhere. Yeah, so, um, so Carlos had reached out to me, uh, who, uh, you know, obviously our chair, and talked to me about starting up the, it'd be our first kind of the, the smaller group, right, because he had a big group. And uh, I was enamored with the idea immediately, right, just for the support and stuff that I saw that it could deliver. And so uh, myself and about four or five others said, yeah, let's do this. And we kind of became that founding uh, group, I guess, maybe 11, 12 years ago now. So we all come into our careers different ways. Um, but we're all missing pieces of that as well. And so I think, to me, it's really rounded me out, right, in terms of the experience that I have, the, the, some of the speakers that we get, but also just some of the people in the room that consistently bring up, ah, that's a great perspective I hadn't thought of. So to me, it's really rounded me out as a leader. Um, it's one of my most tiring days, even though we stay kind of in one room, but you get together with your team, uh, usually get a speaker, and it's... Um, incredible speakers they have and on very certain topics. So you learn kind of best practices and you get to spend the day that at morning thinking, wow, that's not how I'm doing it yet. How do I fix? How do I do that? And then the afternoon, we usually process issues. So we, we go around the table. How's it going in your business? Where can we help you? And we really try and um, process and add value to them. And I think it's a unique opportunity there where everyone at that table has no vested interest other than making you successful. And that is not the case, I find, in other scenarios. Right? Everyone else has a perspective and a vested interest, and they're all trying to help, but they help with their filter of that perspective. It's a very unique opportunity to get that. Uh, I mean, the tech chair is so key to how this group works, right? To kind of make us all cohesive, to be able to kind of um, work with us to make sure we're all getting value out of it. But also you get a um, time with him monthly to sit down for an hour and really process issues. And in that hour, he'll kind of tease out things that he can help you with, because often the, the chairs have tons of experience themselves, have been through all these things as well. But then also say, hey, here's how the group can help you and make sure you go, oh yeah, and, and you can bring those issues up. Or even they can adjust the speaker panel uh, so that next year, those speakers are in there for those topics. Uh, yeah, tech has been um, uh, transformational in terms of how it's helped me to you know, solve tough issues. And uh, if I were to summarize it all into maybe even one word, it's about perspective. You bring a certain problem up and you think, okay, I'm having this challenge and this thing's happening and it's the third time I've brought it up perhaps. And you're like, wow, let's dig deeper into that. Let's look at what that is. And I find um, that when you've done that with that level of a team that, that have lived through this before and almost someone's had that, almost every time someone's had that problem and you find out the root cause isn't what you thought. And it's like, ah, you know what? I've been going after this. This is the real issue. I need to adapt this. That'll fix, fix this. And I find many cases that's it. And even though you know that's it, when you bring it up, you're always surprised in the end. And that's, that's why that peer group is so important. Accountability is critical across the whole stage. So accountability of you to the group to add value, um, accountability of them to call BS, perhaps. Like, hey, wow, you've brought that up three times. Why aren't you doing anything? There's something else there. Can we dig into why you haven't done what we all think you should do? And I think they really make you accountable to that. And, you know, they're people. They're not just doing businesses. So you have often personal KPIs too, right? Date night KPI, weight KPI. What's going on with you? And I've absolutely seen members say, okay, you and I, we're committing. We're going to the gym. I'm going to get it done. We're going to do this um, relay or this race, and we're going to do it together. And I've seen that happen many times. So that accountability is a big part of what plays into the group. I think we all feel um, isolation. And to some extent, the old expression, the, the buck stops here, right? And everyone does look for that. And so um, you, you can't share equally everywhere on every issue, right? Whether it be with customer confidential information, employee confidential, and board confidential. So this is that one area where you can very openly share. And I think it is a chance to be able to share that stuff and know that it's safe and get that um, camaraderie or that um, uh, comfort that someone else has been through it and that they, they can share that and give you answers. And it, it definitely plays a part of that. You join this group to get help with your business, but often you end up with them as friends. And I think that really helps.